Alrighty then, got about another half hour game plays that we're going into. Act three here pretty soon, Temple of Small God Cemetery. What go looking at there? Okay. So guess what's coming up next, folks? When I made it out of the, the alive, video, I thought I was home free, but there was something wrong. I couldn't put my finger on it, but I knew I was in danger. I'm not a suspicious man, but I am a cautious man. I decided then and there to start running and not look back until my office door was safely locked behind me. But something else had plans for me not to make it that far. And you can see the, um, you can see, like, the top of, when, of, um, Luton's head peek over the gate there. See the shadow of his head. This is pretty amazing. He, um, got quite some distance. The, uh, guild of archaeologists and the set of mill are pretty far apart. Now, note the surroundings there. Please notice the surroundings. I don't know when I first began to suspect that I wasn't dead. I guess it must have been. Oh, look, down there at the bottom. It's Fummy the Squirrel. The hey, Fummy! F you, everybody! F you, and this and that! So I I'm gonna be a man that they're there! Alive or undead. That it's the beginning of the and video, it like, can't curse too much. I wandered through the streets in a daze, not really knowing what was going on. At first, I couldn't make out any colors. Then gradually, the city came alive with vast clouds of pigmentation. Against it all, there was an ever-present mist of bright green, cloying and unpleasant. There was a dissonance about it that I couldn't place, until I realized I was smelling the rank odor of the River Ankh. I was smelling the world in a way I wouldn't have thought possible. Every smell fascinated me. The resonant scents combined into a symphony. Every street was an opera, every lamppost an invitation. I don't know how long I wandered the streets. It's hard to tell which way is up when your world has been turned upside down. I ended up back where I started because I didn't know what else to do. Plus, my coat was in the coffin, and Ankh Morpork is a bad neighborhood to be caught naked in. Gotta put in CD. Oh? Um, I thought I... Woof, woof. I haven't got anything to eat, if that's what you want. Woof, woof, woof. I haven't got any idea what's going on either. Wolf, bloody wolf. Hey, that's pretty sharp. Most people don't catch on to that. What did you say? Wolf, wolf. You can talk, can't you? I mean, really talk. Nothing gets past you, does it? How did you do that? Well, um, <clears throat> I can sort of talk. Nonsense. If there was a talking dog in Ankh-Morpork, Pork, I'd have heard about it. Ah, oh, uh, well, the thing is, most people don't seem to notice it. Yeah, right. Like you wouldn't notice a talking dog. Seems like people only see what they expect to see. Hmm? How philosophical of you. I just calls them as I see them. So how come I can tell you can talk? 
I don't claim to understand it. I just do it. Do you know what's happened to me? I'm guessing you didn't know you were a werewolf till you woke up this morning. I'm a werewolf. That explains what's happening to me. I thought somebody slipped something into my embalming fluid. First order of business is to train you up then. Hold it right there. I don't need your help. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Look at yourself. What's your name? Luton. I'm a private investigator. Well, I was. Then I was dead. Then I was, well, a werewolf, I suppose. I guess I spoke too soon. Maybe I do need your help. What's your name? Gaspode the Wonder Dog. <laughs> the Wonder Dog? Hey, don't knock the name. I was named after the famous Gaspode. Never heard of him. Most people haven't. He belonged to an old man in Ark many years ago. When the old man died and was buried, Gaspo lay down on his grave and howled and howled for a couple of weeks, growling at anyone who came near. Then he died. And they called him the Wonder Dog because he was such a paragon of doggy faithfulness and loyalty. Until they discovered that his tail had been trapped under the stone, yeah. How do you think I became a werewolf? Well, presumably you got bit by a werewolf. Bitten? Right. Lesson one. Don't correct me grammar, all right? Sorry. Okay, well, once I've trained you, I suggest that the first thing you do is try and work out how you got infected. Infected? With lycanthropy. It's the blood disease that werewolves have. Now, since you don't have any cubhood memories of romping with your pack, I reckon it's a safe bet that you got infected somehow. So someone I know is a werewolf. Give the wolf a cigar. So can I change between being a wolf and a man at will? Sort of. There's a certain way the change works. The change? There's two things you've got to learn about being a werewolf. The nose and the change. The nose? Yeah, the nose. Werewolves have a unique perception of the world, a sort of a different point of smell. I've noticed that. I can see scents as colors, and they have a certain feel about them, too. Those colors are unique. Each smell has its own <laughs> signature color. So you can tell whether or not someone has been somewhere by whether or not you can see their scent there. Even as a man? No! Only when you're a wolf. And how do I switch between forms? That's what the change is all about. It's a skill you've got to learn how to do. Now, you've already used it to turn the into change. a change. So there is a song. You'll be able to change whenever you wanna. How did I change this time if I didn't know how? That's the other thing about the change. You have to change at the full moon. I guess that's what brought this on in the first place. Other times, it's voluntary. So can I change now? Give it a try. At first, I didn't know what to do. But Gaspode talked me through it. They changed. Then, when the change. Then I could right see now. the world in all its psychedelic glory, Gaspode started teaching me about the nose. You look around, tell me what you see. As a wolf. There's a lot of colors. Phew. I can see how you became a private investigator. You get a lot more information about scents with your werewolf senses. You can... you can see them as colors. I can see a mist of bright green surrounding everything. And there's something that looks like a long stream of purplish-red cloud with some tiny fluorescent greenish-yellow-purple specks in it. Also, there's a ground fog of some kind of unpleasant blue. Well... The bright green is the stench of the River Ark. No mistake in that. That long stream of cloud sounds like the scent of someone having gone through the cemetery recently. Does it smell like a privy carpet? No, it smells like Carlotta, but with less trouble. Well, it wasn't me then. I guess I'm the ground fog of unpleasant blue. Who was it? I don't know who it was, but it was someone. I can't see my own scent. Well, that's normal. You're so used to being around it that it's invisible to you. 
And that's handy for me, what with my stench and all. <laughs> so I can follow the purplish scent to find this person. If you want, and assuming you don't lose the trail, other smells eventually drown scents out, especially out on the streets. What about the coruscating ducts? <laughs> What's it like? It's like flashing green, yellow, purple. Is it like mature mold with an earthy echo? No. It's not you then. Eh, yeah, don't know what it is. See where else you find it and you might be able to work out what it is. According to Gaspode, I could learn a lot from comparing different scents. I figured that could come in handy in my line of work. Assuming I could change back to being human, that is. I gave it my best shot. Nicely done. I learned from a master. Right, that's about it. Apart from the full moon, you can be whatever you want to be. But as of the full moon, you're sniffing lampposts with the rest of us. <coughs> Go ahead and save this. Save it, this. Yeah, uh, I talked about earlier about the darkness of 90s computer graphics. So if everything was just like this bright and shiny, or just as well, bright would have been nice. Oh yeah, talking about the change earlier. was an unhappy man before the change Figure out how to walk across the grave. There was a water-soaked letter by my graveside. There's a letter at my graveside. Who's it from? Ilsa. Who's Ilsa? An old flame of mine from the good old days. How old? Old enough to be good. What does he say? It appears to be a love letter. Dear Luton, I'm writing this letter even though I know I will never have the courage to give it to you. I have to leave Ankh Morpork. I can't tell you why. I wish I could. These last few days have meant the world to me. But I haven't the strength to tell you to your face that I can never be yours. I am married to an Agatean man named Two Conquers. And I thought I would never see him again. He was dead to me, and my life was empty. Please believe me, I never meant to hurt you. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I will always look back on the Hotel Pseudopolis fondly. You all right? Sure. This is just one of those big emotional scenes like in the clickies. I suppose a bone is out of the question. Maybe a dog biscuit? Wag, wag. And he puts it right back on the ground. Uh, my guess is that this letter was actually written a while ago after their romantic encounter. And to just put it next to the grave, knowing that she was dead and knowing that he was going to be dead. Uh, also, a little background explanation to something. Uh, I clickies. It is actually a uh, little beats. You know, because uh, back in the days of reels, they go click, 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 and that's what they call them in the Discworld games. The scent of a woman around my grave. The smell of Gaspode the Wonder Dog. Not unlike that of a privy carpet. I followed the magenta scent with a certain sense of grim inevitability. I already knew where it would lead. Okay, now, as we saw in the opening movie, uh, you, where was I killed right by some stats? And I guess that kind of looks like his head got smashed or something? Then he got stabbed in the chest?
There was some kind of moss on the ground where I had been killed. It obviously didn't grow here, which means it came from somewhere else. The question was where? Having a chalk outline outside just didn't put people in the mood to gamble. It was probably the only time in my life I'd had an effect on high society. Saturnalia was locked up tight. The green scent smelled like vegetation. The scent was too faint to remember. I followed my murderer's trail back to the temple of small gods. I was on the other side of a stained glass window with some kind of angel on it. I could see that someone was on the other side of the window. I was confident the silhouette belonged to Mooncalf. I was confident. This was the other side of the window behind Mooncalf. I could see that someone was on the I was confident I'd lost the trail. I couldn't tell where it went from here. Well, the the actor I had up there with the silhouette in the window for some reason just it just tells me to go to the uh, Milton's office. When I returned to my office for the first time since my murder, a man was already there. I knew he was a man because Corporal Nobbs was the only person in Ankh Morpork who has to carry a letter to confirm his species. He's the kind of man you get itchy from just talking to. There must be something here. Hello, Nobby. Luton, you're alive. Oh, 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 I was just, um, I was just cleaning out your desk. Yes, of everything of value. Didn't they bury you? Rumors of my death have been slightly exaggerated. <laughs> Meaning? Meaning I'm not dead, I just got buried. Yeah, don't tell me the details. Suit yourself. Nice crowbar you're using to jimmy open my drawers. Um, yeah. I sort of borrowed it from the evidence room. That's okay. I sort of borrowed it from a cart. Oh, I searched Reagan's body and uh, there were two tiny bite marks on it. Really? I guess it was more suspicious than you thought. Well, uh, I, I ought to go. Looks like you don't need your things collecting. How goes the case? The counterweight killings? Oh, still not much progress. They wouldn't let me investigate it if they thought there would be. How many murders do you guys think there are? Three. One of the Patricians' clerks, uh, the reader of esoteric occultism up at Unseen University, and one of the city's richest merchants. There'd be three more if you counted Mundy, Reagan, and Malachite. I suppose so. Still not convinced? Well, Vimes isn't convinced. Even though I've been cleared, I have to get back to the yard. Nobby didn't seem very comfortable around me. I didn't know if it was because of my return from the grave or because I caught him trying to steal everything of value that wasn't tied down. Although with Nobby, even if you tied it down, he'd steal the string. The only thing I was sure of was that my next step was to look into the counterweight killings. I had a feeling I wasn't going to like what I found. All right. Does, uh, okay, see that crowbar right there? My old trusty crowbar, stolen by me from the golem, then stolen from me by the watch, stolen by Nobby from the evidence cabinet, and finally back into my hands again. There was a poetic injustice about it all. Okay, I guess I picked it up. Uh, 
a low evidence bag, and there's only one crowbar in here. Around the door was a strong, dark cyan odor with an earthy overtone. Lady Elsa? She's a lady? There was a faint haze of purple in the room. I didn't know who it belonged to, but there was something about it. <laughs> the cloud of teal-colored scent was the smell of tobacco and petty theft. Definitely nobbies. The maroon scent wasn't recent. It suggested the tangy red of iron. What to do, what to do, what to do? Um, there are about nine minutes left, so I'll go to the mansion. Oh, it is you, sir. I'm just as thrilled. Who would say I'd like to see this time? Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a long cutscene, so I'll probably just finish up this um, half hour playthrough. Can I see the count? I am not in a position to know how good your vision is, but you may see the Count, which I believe is what Sir actually meant in Sir's untutored way. The Count's health was getting worse. He wasn't making much sense. Is, is that you? I knew you'd come for me sooner or later. Is it time? Is it time already? It's been such a long time, hasn't it? We've had fun together, haven't we? Soon. Soon enough. Count? Soon enough, my dear. Soon enough. Count? It's Luton. He cannot hear you. Why not? It's almost his time. I've seen some scary things in my time. I've seen men driven mad by money or women. I've seen wars where neither side has known what they were fighting over. I've seen Nobby getting out of the shower. And believe me, that was no picnic. I didn't really discover what terror was until I found myself talking to a seven-foot-high skeleton with a scythe. <gasps> You're deaf! Am I? You know, I wondered why I was carrying the scythe around. A am I? Are you what? A selfish, bitter man who has yet to squander his one last chance at redemption? Am I dead? No. It's not your time. I thought you might have missed me the other day when I was stabbed and you've only just got around to me. I'm famously punctual. So why are you here? I've come out for the Count, so to speak. Oh, well that's a shame. I was hoping to ask him a few questions. You seem remarkably calm for one who has just seen the defeater of empires, the swallower of oceans, the thief of years, the ultimate reality, the harvester of mankind, and the assassin against whom no lock will hold. That's me in case you have trouble with long sentences. It's been that kind of week. How long has he got? That depends on you. On me? I thought our time was allocated by the fates. It is true that fate is the ultimate master of life and death. 
But even fate takes a back seat to the laws of narrative causality. I don't understand. Really? Who said you were supposed to? You might give me a clue. Let's just say that the actions of one person may change the way the whole story is told. I don't understand. Don't worry. It'll all become clear to you at the end. How come you're here? I came on my horse. What is it? A skeletal horse whose hooves spark with flames with each step? No. Just my horse. I call him Binky. And he's not a skeleton? He happens to be very well fed and looked after, thank you very much. I still don't understand why you're here. I mean, your death. Shouldn't you be everywhere? I am everywhere. But you're here! Yes. As well. Don't try to work it out. Even I don't fully understand it. It involves really complicated numbers. You turn up like this for everyone? Generally, I'm only expected to make an actual appearance on special occasions. And this is a special occasion? Not yet. I've arrived ahead of time. But there's going to be a lot of business in Ankhmor Pork soon. So it doesn't hurt for me to get here a little early. You wouldn't care to tell me more about this, I suppose. The immediate future is not a matter on which I propose to enlighten you, no. Oh, Mr. Baden, should I go to this long soliloquy or... do some talking? I uh, never know what these things will clue you up to. How come I can see you? Is it something to do with me being a werewolf? In a sense. It has much more to do with certain other matters. Such as? Ordinarily, I am only perceived by those who are about to die. So you are invisible? Mm, that must be useful. I'm not invisible, as such. People just can't see me. They won't allow themselves to do it. Until it's time, of course. Wizards can see me, and cats. Odd, really, but there you go. But I can see you. Indeed. People in a state of heightened awareness sometimes stop seeing what they expect to see, and start seeing what is really there. Like with Gaspode. Frankly, I think your seeing me has more to do with your quest for the Golden Sword. You know about that? I've been around. I hear things. Why should the sword be a factor? Well, it's more to do with narrative causality, as I said. It's not really a quest. I mean, I'm just investigating a few murders. Believe me, I know. I was there. You mentioned narrative causality before. Did I? I must be becoming careless. Why? Aren't you allowed to discuss it? It's not exactly against the rules. But it might ruin it if I told you. Ruin what? The story. Do you know anything about the counterweight killings? Of course. You were there? Well, yes. I have to be. But this is very irregular. Of course. You know about all these murders, don't you? I mean, you're basically an accessory after the fact. Or possibly before the fact. Young man, I am the fact. Well, tell me everything you know. Are you sure? It would take millions of years. I, I meant about this case. 
we could stop anyone else from being killed. No. Absolutely not. You can't expect me to be a witness in a murder inquiry. I'm going to take the fifth. The fifth what? No one ever says what fifth. Of death. fifth. Oh God. They <laughs> just take it. <laughs> the fifth of death. And I have sixth, seventh, and fifteenth through twenty-third, just to be on the safe side. So you won't tell me anything. Oh, lots of things. I like to talk to a man who likes to talk. But you won't tell me anything about the murders. I will not. Supposing that caught on. You think I want to spend every day in a witness box? Even though Death said he wouldn't tell me anything, I had a suspicion that I might be able to learn something if I could just trip him up. I'd have to be careful, though. The last thing I wanted was to get Death upset with me. He's not a guy you want as your enemy. Help me in this one. These can take forever. It's like been over like what almost nine minutes since I got into the mansion. Is there anything you'd like to tell me about the murder of the patrician's clerk? Only that he was a lot less tiresome than you and didn't have such a colorful vocabulary. Wizards can see you, right? Indeed. So they know when they're going to die. That is also true. So the reader of esoteric occultism must have known he was about to be murdered. Knowing when you are going to die and knowing how are two different things. I was just thinking that I could really use some information on the merchant's murder. That's funny. I was just thinking about wallpaper. Was there a point you wanted to make? Perhaps I could trap him into saying something when I knew a little more about how and where the merchant had been killed. You know, that's very good, the way you make your voice go all tough and gritty like that. Do you have to go to elocution classes? No. Do you have a secret code ring or anything? No. Oh. Do you know anything about golden swords? I've seen a couple in my time. Such as? Oh, I don't know. If you've seen one golden sword, you've seen them all. Do you know anything about jewels? Jewels? <laughs> Shiny. Not much use for anything except looking pretty. Hmm. Count von Uberwald? Has it turned cold again? I can't tell. There's life in the old Count yet. There will be. Right up until the end. What about you? I'll be there. No, I mean, do you know anything about jewels? I once had to acquire a diamond for... a friend. Where did you find it? In a temple. They thought it was the tear of a god. Was it? No. Gods never weep. Sometimes the imagination of mankind astonishes me. You don't know anything about gold-plated jewels? Sorry, no. Can't you just tell me who killed Mundy? I won't squeal, copper. No one will ever say that death is a pigeon on a stool, you doity. Uh, You doity rodent of some sort. I say, this is fun, isn't it? What do you know about a woman named Carlotta? I haven't met them... yet. What do you know? I haven't met yet. Do you? I haven't met yet.
There must be something you can tell me about Reagan's murder. What would be the point of your job if I did all your work for you? I'll make you a deal. You help me, and I'll help you. Oh yes, that'd do my reputation good, wouldn't it? You sidling up to people and saying, Hey, sister, you're deader than a bucket of fish. No thank you. Okay, okay. I was only trying to be friendly. I don't have many friends. Don't have the knack, I suppose. You and me both, pal. Still, we both have jobs that allow us to get out and meet people. You can at least tell me why the murderer killed Reagan, Mundy, and Malachite. Surely that wouldn't be a problem. Look, if I tell you about him, where does it stop? No. I will tell you nothing. I think it's too late for that. Bugger. I don't suppose you could forget I said that. Sure. Thanks for eliminating half of my suspects. So, the murderer was male. Well, that put Carlotta and Sapphire in the clear. Do you? I haven't met yet. I think the murderer I'm looking for is some kind of beast. No doubt you will find out soon enough. I'm past 36. Okay, it's... Can it do with the... I don't suppose you know anything about mosses. Moss? Did you say moss plants? Yes. Lots of plants here. Can't remember much about them these days. The memory fails. There are books, though. I forget where. Ah. Yes. The library apocrypha. All the books are there, uh, you know. May I use the library? Eh? What was that, my boy? The library. Ah, yes. The library's apocrypha. All the books are there, you know. You can use it if it will help your inquiries. How go your inquiries? Have you heard from Reagan? Uh, no. Not yet. Uh, this room contains the von Uberwald's Libraris Apocrypha. Uh, Sir, so will I trust be careful not to damage any of the priceless tomes housed within? I'll be careful. One would be very upset if one was to return to find Sir perhaps folding paper animals from a priceless folio edition of the Dictionary of Eye-Watering Words. What are they? Uh, they are books, sir. I realize that. What are they about? The Libraris Apocrypha is a collection of obscurities and rare volumes from across the continent. If knowledge were an animal, the Libraris would be a great dragon. Sir, by the same scale, would be a kebab on an ant's barbecue. I'll be careful. Okay, finally time to take a break. Uh, save this game. Yeah. Game saved. Ah, oh, this is a long haul. 40 minutes. Okay. Oh, I've got to go to work tomorrow. It's one o'clock where I are. Uh, yeah, it's one o'clock where I live. <sighs> yeah. I gotta go through. I gotta do my laundry. I gotta download podcasts. And I gotta... Uh, I get to work on dash cam plants. Oh, yeah. I gotta quit playing. Oh, <sighs> 